Hi guys, you know, I'm really happy for Michael B. Jordan. Now, this is the first weekend of his release of Creed 3, and it looks like he's going to do about $100 million globally and about $58 million domestically, that's US and Canada, for the film. Now, this is a fantastic, you know, directorial debut. He's doing quite well. One of the things I want to chat about is, and this is mainly to the men out there, right? You know, there last week there was some item, you know, he had an interview with um, a personality named Laurel. The whole idea came up that potentially when he was back in school, you know, some people used to call him corny. Now, I've heard that Laurel herself never called him corny, but that's not really the point. The point that I wanted to bring across is Michael B. Jordan is doing something that is fantastic. He is excelling. He's doing well. He is being a real success. I mean, for a young man like this to have, you know, doing well in acting, all of that stuff, and now directing, he's opened up a new avenue. And what I wanted to say is, years ago, when he was in high school as a 14-year-old guy, you know, as a freshman, he probably was corny. And corny meaning that, corny, I've found a lot, means that, you know, you have a big dream, you're a little awkward, and you don't fit in. You don't fit in and, and sometimes that's not bad. And that's something that I want to tell a lot of guys out there. That being called being called a corny guy or cornball or goofy or all that stuff, it's actually good. And I'll tell you why. Look at what's happening with the majority. If the majority is being is enjoying success, then the problem is that if you are said, oh, you're a real dude, you know, you're like all of us, then there's something wrong going on. That's why I'm saying sometimes the world is upside down in the sense that if you're among people who are failing, being real means that you are failing too. If you're among people who are failing and you're corny, you're weird, you're out of it, then it means that you are pushing forward for success. And I'm happy for Michael B. Jordan. Now he's getting his success. Now, there's several, several corny dudes or weird dudes who don't make it. And I do agree with that. And the important thing is that some of them become discouraged and they want to become real and they want to join, you know, the thugs or, you know, that hip hop culture style. And it's not only in the US. I mean, I'm from Jamaica originally. And, you know, they'd say he's a cool youth. That youth is a cool youth, which does not mean a good thing. So, you know, in Jamaica, they use the word weird more, you know, you know that you weird, you know, something wrong with him. And I would say that when you are weird among people who are failing, that's actually good. And I'm happy for him. And I hope many more of us will continue to do things and try things that a lot of people don't do. You know, one of the things I've been on YouTube and I noticed, and I don't know, I don't see a lot of black bakers. I don't see a lot of black welders on YouTube. I don't see a lot of people with skills on YouTube that are showing off these skills. And, you know, probably I'm one of them too. But the key part is, is that we cannot continue to abide by and succumb to a culture that's not doing well. And that's the truth. So therefore, I hope many more of us will be corny. I'm, I'm just happy that Michael B. Jordan took all those headshots, took, you know, did all those modeling gigs for advertisement, went to school and say, hey guys, I want to become an actor. Because not everyone makes it, but at least he tried. And he didn't try to, you know, playing football or basketball or baseball and there's nothing wrong with that he tried a different route and he made it you know hats off to you michael b jordan thanks guys